Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Airbnb and Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was You Got It by Roy Orbison. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Um, I, I, You know how you hear a song in passing. I've heard the song in passing. I never knew who the artist was. I actually had to put the lyrics that I heard in my head in the um, search box in YouTube. So I know that this is definitely for sure a message for somebody out there. Um, I, I heard pacify. Like somebody is doing something to pacify you. Okay, because in the hook, he says, anything you want, you got it. Anything you need, you got it. Anything at all. So it's like this person, for some of you all, this person is just doing whatever they feel like needs to be done in order to keep you, to keep you from leaving them. Because I also see in your pre-shuffle in the very beginning, the five of swords. You guys are air sign energy swords. And in this five of swords, see, and I didn't even see this at the bottom of the deck, the tower card. Yeah, this person wants to prevent an ending. Okay, something, a tower coming down to a crash. And this could be happening in the Aries season, okay, which we are currently in because um, the tower is Aries and also Scorpio. And I also see the death card. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio sun sign particularly, okay, or someone that you met in Scorpio season. But getting back to what I was saying, like this person feels as though there's going to be some type of ending with you. And when we see in the Five of Swords, there's conflict, arguments, disagreement. And in that Five of Swords, someone is feeling defeated and they walked away. So this could either be you or your love interest, but whatever the case, somebody is basically like, you know what, whatever I need to do to keep the peace, that's what I'm willing to do. So let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm going to power the deck, change the card at the top and the bottom. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. As always, there's absolutely no reversals, but if I get any once I start shuffling, I will read it as such. At the bottom of the deck, mm-hmm. So what I'm getting with this is that this person could be doing it as a manipulative tactic. You got Major Arcana, the devil right here. This is the energy of Capricorn. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn sun sign specifically. I always say that whenever I have Major Arcana, that's their sun sign for me. So, so far you have Scorpio and Capricorn. And also you could have met this person in Capricorn season as well. But what I'm getting right here is like this person could possibly be manipulative. For some of you, I feel like there's a genuine energy that this someone, okay, wants to see you happy like they they just don't want you leaving and for others someone could be very manipulative and there is like um a karmic relationship this is this is heavy karma for me and also some type of um what do you call it not confinement but there's definitely an energy of why don't i just heard departmentalize somebody departmentalizes things it could be you or this person but this gives me an energy of like codependency yeah, because you see how you have these two people attached to him in some way. And as always, you guys know my reasons are gender neutral, so apply it how it fits. But there's some there's an energy of um, codependency. Ooh, okay. So I heard somebody could have been. I'm I'm literally literally just seeing a vision of somebody shooting up. So uh, somebody could have. Oh yeah, because remember I said I seen the five of swords. Swords is like literally swords, but. It, Sometimes things shift the way I see things and it could be a needle. So someone could have been dealing with someone who had drug dependencies. I'm hearing both street and pharmaceutical. Huh. Okay. So what we're going to do is shuffle the deck upright three times so that we can get the major icon for your sign, which will be the star card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. Four Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. That's part so that we can shuffle. Wow. Two major icons back to back. So, again, with this, I feel like somebody, this person may be trying to manipulate you, but some of you guys already know it, okay? Because you have the high priestess, this is someone who's very intuitive, someone who's very psychic and very in tune and empath. She can feel, he or she can feel and sense things. So, while this person is trying to get over, you already know the deal. And this is both major arcanas. You know, nothing trumps a major arcana, so you have these two together. So, it's almost like you think you're getting over, but I already know because she already knows the answer, you know. So this person already knows you or this person. Again, you would know how to supply this. Already knows what someone's true intentions are. You have all this high priestess and I mean, um, major arcana energy. You have the temperance card. That's the energy of Sagittarius. So, so far you've had Capricorn, um, Scorpio and Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, the nine of cups. Again, 
I really do feel like for some of you all, this person is being manipulative and for others, this person is actually showering you with praise. This literally goes back to the song that I heard, anything you want, or well, the name of the song is you got it. But in the hook, it says anything you want, you got it. And this is like someone being showered with everything that they need to feel emotionally, because Cups talks about the emotions, emotionally happy, secure, fulfilled, because the nine of cups is definitely about fulfillment, okay? So let's go through the deck and get the major, look at that. Major Arcana for your sign. And this is you right here with the King of Swords. And right up under that, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles for me is someone who is definitely always holding on for dear life. Now keep in mind, we already had the Capricorn energy with the Devil card. So some of you guys can have a Capricorn who's holding on to you. Keep in mind, she's sitting outside. She's not in that castle behind her. She's sitting outside. So some of you guys may have put this person out of your life, out of your home. Ooh, right up under the Seven of Swords. Liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. So some of you guys, and it doesn't have to be that this person is a Capricorn. I'm just saying that because we did have that energy. Nonetheless, you, okay, this is something that's going to happen soon. Look how far we got in the deck before we got to your card, okay? So the card that comes right before Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue. And then you have the Three of Wands and then the Nine of Wands. I'm telling you, somebody has been through some, they've been through the trenches, now, you have the Nine of Wands, which is the Wounded Warrior. And then right before that, at the very top of the deck, we had the Nine of Cups. So, I feel like you've been through some things with this person. And there's getting ready to be some shifts, okay? Because you have the Eight of Wands. Again, fast-moving communication and something coming out of the blue. Wands. Then you have the Three of Wands, okay? You have a lot of Wands energy. We are currently in Aries season, which is Wands. And then there's you in the middle. So, I feel like somebody has left some bad traits behind. Some negative... Um, Aspects of themselves, they left it in the past and they're looking for a they're looking towards a future with you. And I feel like they're gonna communicate that with you. And I said this earlier, I feel like whatever it is, they're just telling you, like, whatever you want, you can have it. It's yours. I'm gonna make sure that you have it. Because you see how he has that bow and arrow, it's like that Cupid's arrow. Like this person is like, I'm hearing like all of a sudden they just have this strong sense of love towards you. Not as if they didn't love you before, but it's like they've been shot by Cupid's arrow arrow, and now they're sending it back in your direction, hoping that they can get you back and they look forward to having you back. Or they look forward to some type of connection. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Bottom of the deck, yeah. And I just said they see a future with you. So you literally go from the three to the four. And you have wands. So some of you guys can be getting engaged towards the end of Aries season. If you feel like it's too soon and that's not going to happen. But again, eight of wands, something coming quickly and out of the blue. If you guys do get engaged, leave it in the comments section below because that's very exciting. Um... But I feel like if it's not an engagement, you could already be married to this person or this person could be coming out of the blue, literally coming out of the blue, talking to you about marriage and a future. Again, you have nothing but wands here back to back. And I feel like this is going to happen in Aries season. By the end of Aries season, I feel like you're going to have some type of um, new perspective about how this, feel, this person feels about you and the commitment moving forward. Okay. And, and if you were talking to this person about marriage, right? And they, they may have been hiding from it in the past because if you look at it, it's almost like he's hiding behind his wand. We can see you. You're bigger than the wand. You know, if this person was hiding from, you know, relationship stuff in the past, I feel like this person's like, you know what? Whatever you need, if that's going to make you happy, if that's going to keep us together, let's do it. Again, that, that could be a bit manipulative for someone out there. Not all. Yeah. Okay. So now you got a 10 of swords. So some of you guys could feel like this person betrayed you in the past. And I did say that because remember you had the devil energy. This person could have betrayed you in the past, could have constantly put you through hella drama. We did have that nine of wands, wounded warrior. This is someone who literally has been stabbed in the back more times than one, clearly. You know, dark night of the soul. This person has really hurt you to your core. And I feel like they, they want to leave that behind. So you, you see this person's back here also. Like they're saying they want to leave this past behind and they want to move forward. Yep, they want to move forward. I've seen the sun card. Yep, they want to put an ending to it. Major Arcana, okay? And this is the death part. They want to put an ending to something. Also, some of you all may have put an ending to a marriage, okay? Um, There's that Scorpio energy again. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with Scorpio. Sun sign particularly. Yeah, somebody was lying a lot. Ooh. 
Okay, because the Ace of Swords is truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. Swords is communication, also the mental. Sword up means yes, sword down is no. So with swords being communication and you have it down, that means whatever this person was saying, it was lying their ass off. Um, you had a magician in reverse. Again, magician upright is someone who is um able to manifest whatever it is that they need, whatever it is that they want. And keep in mind, um, again, the hook of the song is anything you want, you got it. Anything you need, you got it. Anything at all. This person saying like, whatever you want, it's yours, you know, but for someone, it could, they could just be saying this to get their way because the magician reverses a shady ass character and they're not truthful. And then they have the ace of swords right next to it in reverse. This person is a liar. So for some of you guys, this person is just saying anything, but for others, that's possible long-term commitment. Bottom of the deck. Now you have the um, magician upright. So for some of you all on the other end of, a, of the situation, this person is manifesting some type of change so that they can come and be everything that they know you need them to be in a relationship. Also, this is the energy of Gemini as well as Virgo. Okay, so let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Wands for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. <laughs> yeah, somebody wants to build with you. Look at that at the very top. So you have the two, um, I'm sorry, the three, and I said two because you have two of Pentacles right up under it. One minute this person, I'm telling you, I keep getting this. For some of you all, this person wants to build, and for the others, this person is indecisive and wants to juggle, for sure. That's just confirmation for me right there. So you have the Eight of Wands being clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Just like I said, this person is going to come in and tell you that they want to build, they want to get married, they want long-term commitment. This always gives me a vibe of someone at a church possibly being getting married or one of those medieval um, courthouses. Because you see right here, they have some type of paperwork, some type of contract. And it looks like, you know, this person wants to move forward and build with you. Something solid because it's Pentacles. Pentacles always talks about long-term, traditional, you know, value. Something of value. This person wants forward moving with you. Now, if this would have came up in reverse, I would have felt like, okay, this person is coming in and saying something really quickly, but they're not really ready for it. So I feel like for the bulk of you all, this person definitely wants some forward movement. And then I, we do have to acknowledge this was directly up under it. You guys watch me shuffle. So this person, for some of you all, this person is just lying. Bottom of the deck, page of cups in reverse. Pages are always messengers. Okay, I want you to see this. There's something on this paper that's a message. Um, messengers coming in. Must in reverse. So I feel like this person is not very, this whoever this person is, is not very emotional. May not be very in tune with their emotions. Also, this person may be a tad younger than you. I'm hearing possibly four years. Four or three, because as soon as I said that, I immediately I bought this three. So this person could be three years younger than you, or you could, you know, something with three. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the three of wands for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Clarifier for the three of wands. Ooh, okay, you have the eight of cups, mm, and it's interesting because as I say three, if you look at this card, this person's walking through that third one, two, three. Here's the thing, also. <laughs> He has the three of wands and he's walking through this three of cups. Here's the thing also with this, right? As I'm doing this, I'm doing this towards the end of March. And we have a full moon on the 28th of March. I feel like if you haven't heard from this person within that, by that third day, because he's walking through the second, going towards the third, three days after the full moon, you can hear some communication from this individual. Also, you know, the eight of cups is about walking away from something that's no longer fulfilling Something that no longer is satisfying and makes you happy. For some of you guys, if this person isn't talking about moving forward with you, you're going to walk away. Or also, if you talked about in the past wanting to have long-term commitment in the future, because this is definitely about looking towards the future, and they didn't speak and, and say things the way that you wanted them to, or things weren't moving the way that you wanted to, you walked away. Pay attention to this. <laughs> you see how this moon is looking? I'm trying to see so you can see it at an angle. This, look at this moon's face. This moon is looking like he does not trust shit this person has to say or is doing. And I, I'm going to say this again. For some of you guys, this person is just saying whatever you they think you want in order for you two to stay together is what I'm getting. But for others, you know, this person realizes like if they don't talk about their, their four plans, okay, keep in mind, mm -hmm, you got a lot of three energy here, okay? So you have three of wands, three of pentacles, and then he's, this is the eight of cups, but he's walking through the third one and they're making it great attention to that detail. Um, again, I want to say with, by the end, okay, the end of March, for some of you guys, you could be getting engaged. For others, you'll be getting engaged within the next three months. 
And some of you all could just be going to the courthouse and just having a courthouse marriage within the next three months or planning to do it next March. Also, um, someone could have walked away from someone three months ago. But long story short, I feel like this person feels as though you're going to walk away if they don't come with it. And by come with it, I mean if you're not talking about long-term commitment. And this is why they're jumping very quickly to have some type of communication with you because they know you're going to walk away. That's just it and that's just all. But I feel like with that moon, okay, moons and cars always talk about things and own things and seeing things we do not have clarity about. I feel like some of you all may sense that they're just doing this to keep you from walking away or they're just saying this to keep you from walking away because even though this person is looking at the sunset, there's no movement. This person is just standing still, okay? Although this person here is walking and there's action here, you know, they're in some type of discussion and right here there's action. So for some of you guys, I have to say, yes, this person is talking shit. And then for others, you know, they do see forward movement and they're like, okay, I'm not going to just stand here and wait for action. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way towards you, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio, this person's on their way towards you because you already had that eight of wands, fast moving communication, travel coming out of the blue. So this person could definitely, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, because you got two eights here. So this person's like, I'm not going to just stand here. I'm actually going to put action to it. You got the eight of wands, you got the eight of cups. Okay. Something with eight also, someone could be um, August because you do have Leo here multiple times. If you look at it, this is the nine of wands, but behind him, there's eight wands. And then you have eight wands right here. So somebody could be dealing with an August Leo. Also, some of you guys could be planning a wedding in August also, you know, because this is like gathering, coming together, working together is what I'm getting as well. Strong three, strong eight energy here for you guys. So you guys will know how that applies. Okay. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.